Well, the warm weather this afternoon uh, was nice while it lasted. Yes, yeah. brief though, albeit yeah. uh, very nice. 71 degrees today. We're going to shave about 25 degrees off of that tomorrow. These temperatures out there, these might be even warmer than our daytime highs tomorrow. So enjoy this evening. 48 degrees right now in Burnett, upper 40s to near 50 in the metro, 48 right now in Buda, and uh, some more similar temperatures. A little bit cooler though, off in our eastern counties. 43 degrees right now in Giddings, and 48 for folks in Smithville. Mostly clear skies, allowing for that heat to escape out. Out to space very well. 51 here in the city, but cooler out at the airport as we would expect. And those warm south winds that boosted so many of us above 70 degrees today, those are finally relaxing a bit just south at three miles per hour right now at the airport. Bad news for the allergy sufferers after mold and cedar started off the week yesterday at the medium category. They have now both jumped into the high category. So don't forget your allergy medicine if you do suffer from those. Now, a mild day today, but notice the temperatures just up the road, even in Waco, are starting to cool off. This is the leading boundary of that colder air, but the main event is still to come. Look at this cold air bottled up to our north. One degree right now in Minneapolis. It feels though like negative 18 with the wind chill and this uh, air, even for those folks, is colder than they are used to. Uh, the entire state of Minnesota overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, they are under a wind chill warning. We haven't really, really even heard of that here. They could get as cold in the wind chill category as negative 40 degrees by the time they wake up tomorrow morning. That very same cold air mass going to get established here during the day tomorrow. By the time we wake up, that cold front will be swept off to our south. High temperatures tomorrow, 25 degrees colder than today, staying in the 40s through the afternoon. And these wind gusts, stronger than we would normally see with a typical cold front because that is such a cold air mass coming into place. 40 mile per hour wind gusts, a real threat. So, of course, we do have that high fire danger with the strong winds and low humidity. And we did want to pass along that folks in Caldwell County, you are under a burn ban during the day tomorrow. Tomorrow night, though, those winds relax, clear skies. That sets up for a very cold night. Uh, tomorrow night, we are forecasting a hard freeze area-wide. Again, this is not tonight. This is tomorrow night. So we will want to protect our pets, pipes, and plants, and, of course, people as well. If your neighbors may not have reliable heating systems, you will want to check on them tomorrow night because we could get as cold as the upper teens in some of our Hill Country areas, the coldest night we've seen thus far. Now, cold front number two, that's not even uh, what we've got to deal with. The second cold front is coming on Friday morning and affects lingering through the coming weekend. This one even colder in terms of daytime temperatures at least. Highs on Friday and Saturday in the 30s and unlike that dry and cold cold front number one, this one could be a little bit wetter. A little storm system is going to be following this cold front very closely and that could increase the chances of a cold drizzle, cold rain through the day on Friday, but by Friday night into Saturday morning, uh, most of us may be facing the threat of some freezing rain and sleet. Now I know a lot of folks are thinking about, well, on New Year's Eve we were talking about that threat, but most of us didn't get it. I will tell you with this system coming our way now, the computer models are a handful of degrees colder with this system. So more of us will be facing that icing threat as opposed to just the western hill country next time, uh, last time around. We'll keep you up to date though. Uh, temperatures overnight tonight staying above freezing but getting colder as that front arrives by morning. Tomorrow, look at these highs in the upper 30s in the hill country. The rest of us not escaping the 40s. 39 degrees our low temperature tonight in Austin. Tomorrow, a much colder and windy day. Gusts up to 40 with a temperature of 40. 46. Cold front number one comes through tomorrow. We will stay cold after that hard freeze on Thursday morning, but cold front number two even bigger. Look at that highs in the 30s on Friday and Saturday. Of course, we'll be monitoring that threat of ice and freezing rain very closely.